So the Victoria Ham Project is a Canadian charity organization that designs and deploys low-cost 3D printed prosthetic arms for low-income communities around the world. What we do is we develop the technologies, the 3D printed prosthetic arms and the workflows and we partner with clinicians in low-income communities and we transfer them the technology and the workflows so they can produce these low-cost prosthetic devices themselves. So I first got involved with Victoria Ham Project uh, during my undergraduate studies in biomedical engineering. I heard about this new research project that was happening, you know, using 3D printing to produce prosthetic hands. I thought it sounded really cool. I actually first applied for a co-op uh, at an open posting and I didn't get the job, unfortunately. But then the next semester I heard that the professor, Dr. Nick Dechev, was hiring again. So I approached him before there was a posting and I got the job. I did a second co-op with VHP in 2016, right before I graduated, uh, which took me to Nepal to set up a new partner clinic. So that was really exciting. Uh, and then I started working full-time with VHP in February 2017, and I've been here ever since. Over the years, just the machines have become a lot better. The software for slicing, for preparing the 3D prints has become better, and the materials. And this is even just for basic desktop 3D printing. It's, you know, it's much more accessible to people all around the world. Uh, now there's also new printing techniques um, that have been developed over the past few years, which you know, produces you know, better quality um, products. They're you know, cheaper, much more functional. You know, they can produce uh, 3D printed um, implants for um, you know, uh, knee joints or hips. Over the past few years, I know so many more people that have them at home to play with. Um, prosthetics clinics all around the world are starting to use them, so it's just really great to see this technology developing and it was so much fun to get in early on and just be able to learn so much at the beginning. Uh, yeah, so I mean here at the lab we're always, you know, using the 3D printers for random stuff. Like we've printed door stops and that's not cool, but um, it's useful. Um, but then just seeing like what 3D printing can actually be used for, you know, some of the aerospace applications have been really great. I know people that have worked for um, rocket companies and they said that they are using high-end 3D printers for producing rocket components. So I think going forward, 3D printing is just going to become more affordable, more accessible to many more people. There's also been a really big push for greener 3D printing, you know, recycling materials. Um, we use PLA materials, so it's a starch-based material from uh, beetroot, corn, everything like that. So it is more biocompatible, it can um, decompose later on in the future compared to other petroleum-based ones. You know, 3D printing is still fairly expensive, even lower-end ones. and just as the technology improves, it will just become more accessible to more people and then that will just you know, allow Victoria Ham Project to work with those people much more closely.